Gary Oldman's performance as Churchill is outstanding, so no surprise it's earned him a Best Actor nod. But as his fellow nominee Christopher Plummer knows, this year the Academy may be rewarding outstanding behaviour as much as talent. Plummer replaced Kevin Spacey after claims of sexual assault were made against him, and following the scandals engulfing the industry, the Academy is under pressure to acknowledge them. The organisers know just how important this is, and I suspect they'll be pretty ruthless in, in terms of you know, disinviting people, not inviting people and controlling who the cameras spin on. The Oscars have had a run of PR disasters, from the continuing decline in its audience to the Oscars So White campaign, which highlighted the lack of diversity in its nominees. And last year, they announced the wrong film had won Best Picture. So this year, they need to get it right. Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. And this year's more diverse nominees show the Academy is responding. For Lady Bird, Greta Gerwig is only the fifth woman to be nominated, alongside the black director Jordan Peele and Brit Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk. He's coming back right. Continuing the British success, Daniel Kaluuya gets a Best Actor nomination for Get Out, along with Daniel Day-Lewis for Phantom Thread and Denzel Washington. So, Mildred Hayes, why did you put up these billboards? Best Actress favourite will be Frances McDormand for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, up against Sally Hawkins, Meryl Streep and Saoirse Ronan. James Franco missed out on an Oscar nomination despite winning a Globe. Voting closed the day after he was accused of sexual misconduct, he denies. People are going to get kind of kind of shoved aside in this kind of new moral flood that we're having. So whether you win the best picture or not, it might not be because you made the best film, it might be just because you've been the best behaved. Celebrating creativity, but with caution, this year's Oscars will be like no other. Lucy Cotter, Sky News.